creepy kind of glowing fireplace, very ambient. I can't actually see a lot in game, so you're going to be able to see a lot better than me, which is probably going to end in you seeing a monster and me walking right up to it and screaming my head off. So yeah, that should be fun. Uh, we got a hold of records. Alright, now this is important. I'm probably going to be coming back here to read this a few times. Okay, so basically there is a bunch of cells in a bunch of different parts of this, this part of the thing and I've got to go to each of those cells to do different tasks for Laurel to get rid of her stuff uh, and also I have to impersonate one of them and I have to find their personal items. Uh, I don't know which one I'll pick but we'll see. They're all different basically. All of these different creepy patients are all completely different. We'll be exploring everyone but we might not be using everyone's items. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Righto. Give it a quick save. Um, well, to begin with, we'll just explore, I guess. I mean, the more we explore... Oh my fucking god. If a, if a light is flickering, there's a chance there's a monster next to it. Because they make the lights flicker, which is even more creepy than you would think it would be. My heart is now beating a lot faster than it was when I started the mission. Very, very creepy. Okay. Oh god, that's one of them. That has to be one of them. Oh my god. Heart rate... Heart rate... <laughs> rising. Ah, uh, he might be on the ground somewhere. I'm not going over there yet anyway, so it shouldn't matter. That, however, I do want. Okay. And we're gonna start hearing groaning and shit soon if we get close to one. Oh, did you hear that? Right in the distance. I heard one. Well, that's a point. Pointless little. Wow. That's some good uh, level design. Oh god, one of them just opened a door. Okay. We're good. You know what? We're good. Oh shit. Shit, I just scared one. Oh my god. What's this? All of records. Um. Alright. So, yeah, you can't, um, I don't think you can knock these out. You know what, let's, uh, let's give it a save, and I'll show you what happens if you try to knock them out. I don't know if you can or not, actually. I don't remember. Right, there he is. Their sudden movements are so creepy. See? Absolutely. Absolutely nothing. Um, to kill them, you either need to flash bomb them a few times. Um, you can cut them to death, which is rather ineffective. Throw holy water, and I think you can burn them as well. So, that's four ways that you can kill them. Um, oh my fucking god, you creepy motherfucker. I'm tempted to kill this one. He's in a bad spot. Alright, let's, let's go for it, shall we? Alright, we made it. Where does that lead? I think that might be the morgue. Alright, he's going in there, so we're okay. I can hear one of them groaning, though. Oh, this was... Oh shit, I see him. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. Let's just close that door. Oh no, he knows. He knows. It's okay. They're, they're, they're creepy, but they're not that observant. They're more observant than default guards, I believe, but... Um, you know, I can fool them. Let's hide back here for a second, and then we might go down. I don't think they can hear lifts. I don't think any NPCs can hear a lift. So, we're going to call the lift. We'll bring it up, and then we'll hop on it. This is down to the morgue, I believe, but um, we'll, we'll go explore there to begin with. Get some loot, and yeah, do a bit of recon. 
because this isn't just to see the story anyway, it's, I want to show you the, um, environments and stuff as well. Yeah, this is the, um, I could go down to the bottom in this lift, but I think I'll go on the, uh, stairways instead. So yeah, um, there should be one of them down here, yeah. You know, you've seen it now, you can see it there, um, I might go up there later, but, um, yeah, that's the morgue. I'm gonna go this way. Go up, go back up this ladder. Oh my god, I'm on the wrong side of the ladder. <laughs> okay, up we go. Where are you? There was one here, wasn't there? Oh, he's wandered off. That's even worse than not wandering off. Um, yeah, we're doing another quickie. Quick save, you dirty-minded fuck. Um, Another patient died today. Okay. No big deal. Um, you know, let's just, uh... <laughs> oh, he's gonna be... Where did he go? Ah, he must have gone around that corner. Okay, well... Um... Alright, let's, let's head into the, um... Observatory. We actually get trapped up there if we go up there, I think. And we have to jump down. We'll go there next. That's where all these cells and shit are, and that's where they eat. We'll go up here for the sake of, um, exploration. So, this level isn't huge, but it is large, even. You know, as it, it's a level, it's... It's a level that's rather large. Oh my god, I never come up here. I don't think I've ever come up here, like, bothered. Wow. This is an area of the level I rarely explore. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the whole level. Ooh, if I had jumped and stood on that metal thing, he would have ran, ran for me, probably. Yeah, this is the observatory. I think I might have missed it because it's kind of out of the way. I kind of want his gems. Not something I say every day. Quickie. I've already got the recommended loot. It's okay, though. Oh my fucking god, you creepy motherfucker. I will end you. <laughs> I do have holy water, don't I? Oh, I have three of them. Thanks for having five person I got the save off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm kind of angry that I only have three holy water. That sucks. I suppose I don't think you can buy it. I think you have to actually collect it. They probably used it on the Abysmal Gale, the goddamn casuals. That level is creepy, but nowhere near as creepy as this one. That's just like, it's a ship full of dead people and these guys, except without the twitching and without the head cages. So, they're just normal zombies. But these guys are, oh, I don't remember what they're called, it's something really creepy. Like, patients or wards or something. Really creepy. But, uh, okay. So, where am I going right now? I'm, oh, back here. Okay, good. Alright, now let's go explore the, uh, creepy ambient uh, story places that have creepy things in them. Now they'll, yep, yep, there he is. He is the guy who wanders around there. There's another one there and another one over there, I believe. Ugh. I'm gonna have to kill at least one of these guys eventually. Why can I hear, oh my, oh, I just got disoriented. Okay, um, you know what? I'm not afraid of you. I mean, I am, but uh, I'll say I'm not, um... Where, where was that groaning coming from? See, that's what I'm talking about. This level is... It makes you second-guess yourself. You're like, were they behind me? Were they in front of me? Are they in that room? Or this room? And most... Oh, God. Um, how do I zoom in as Garrett? I forget... I wish I could show you, but, uh, oh, hi, hi, buddy. Right, we'll follow this guy. 
Okay, um... That's not loot, okay. Alright, let's... We'll press and city it for a minute while he does his thing. Maybe he'll walk back past us. I will quick save. I, I will quick save a lot in this level, as you can probably already tell. You know, if you want to just sit there, I'm going to probably get killed by you. Um. Oh, this is back to the lift. Awesome. We've done a circle, which is a good thing, because we're nearly done searching. Um. Oh, YOLO. Well, that YOLO went surprisingly well. If you could just walk away, sir, that would be nice. Because I will flashbang you to death if um, if I'm forced. Oh, he heard that. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Good. It only slightly um, annoyed him. Okay, let's go over here. Now, I believe there is a special loot item somewhere in this room. Definitely not climbing back over that railing, because I would have made a lot of noise. I'll, um, I'll go around this way. Hmm. I know there's some kind of loot in this room. Ah, there it is. I can see it down there. Um, there's only one of them, right? Please tell me there's not two. Okay, there's only one by the looks of it. He, he's just gonna chill there. I'm gonna go around this way. And quick save. I'm quick saving a lot this level. I, I usually forget. I suppose it's the fear. Um, I was impressed by you. Botched lobotomies. Fuck you. Is that what these things are? Botched lobotomies. That's how you make these things. Um. Yeah, good for you, buddy. You, uh, you get yourself killed by these things. Okay. Uh, please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Okay, we're good. For now. Let's do another quick save since I just achieved something. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hide over here because he's not likely to walk over here. Oh, he's turned around. Good. I want to go up this way. Oh! If you saw what I just saw, you were very concerned for my safety. <laughs> I'm going to go around, since there's two of them. This is this what I'm talking about, man? You get in the wrong place at the wrong time, these motherfuckers will end you. And end your, uh, not alter flooring record. I would alter four if they saw me, usually. <laughs> um, took me about five days to beat this level on my first try. I was too scared. I kept stopping. I would do like one bit, then get scared, and then uh, do the rest a bit more, a bit more, and then. Ah, this is the tower I was talking about. Oh, right, we're gonna call the elevator. Whoops, I bumped the record button, but we're fine because I noticed. Um, uh, yeah. I just quick saved in case I fall to my death. Um, I've got the record button next to my quick save and quick load. It's a bit uh, precarious. Okay. Now for the long lift ride. Man, I'm looking at my OBS uh, preview. You can see a lot better. And there it is. Creepy laughter. Doesn't beat Bloodline's uh, seaside mansion laughter though when you hop in the lift. Jeez, that was creepy. But uh, yeah, anyway. So yeah, we're stuck up here. There's a note downstairs about this, how the lady wanted to come up here or something. I don't know. It's creepy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's do another quick save. And let's drop down. Oh dear, oh dear. Ow! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you quick save. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, where can I go from here? Guess I can just clip into the wall a little bit. Okay. We're good now. Alright. Now let's start searching these cells if I can get past these zombies. 
Oh good, there's a door there, okay. Um, I am a little lost. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna go up this way then. This is the beginning of the cell part. Now, I think a few of them actually have zombies in them. Uh, but that's okay, I can get past them. Creepy. Um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I, I did not realize. Holy shit, this is not a good position to be in. Alright, we're good. Thanks to the uh, slightly buggy lighting engine, we're in the dark somehow. <clears throat> Why does he have to walk right up to me? Am I cursed? <laughs> oh. Is he gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna unlock that door for me. Oh, man. The, uh, the flickering lights are a really nice touch into the fear that this level instills. If the lights didn't flicker, it'd be a lot less creepy, because it's just a sign that you're going to get you're going to be in trouble if you're near a flickering light. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait for this guy. I will pause recording.